different Siri and draw a Lego person. We're gonna draw a basic Lego person so you can use your imagination and creativity to change this drawing into any Lego person you want. Yes. What do they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, let's start. Yes. We're first gonna draw our Lego person's head. We're gonna draw a line down. Now I'm not drawing it in the center of a paper, I'm drawing a little over here to the left. So the, this is going to be the side of our Lego person's head. Then we're going to draw an L, we're going to turn this into an L with a curve in the corner. So I'm going to draw another line that comes across like that. Now we're going to use our eyes to measure this distance. We want to measure and compare it so that the side of our Lego head is the same length as the bottom. This one, to me, looks a little shorter, so you could draw the bottom a little bit longer. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw a curve that comes around on the corner, and then we're gonna come straight up. I'm gonna start up here and draw down. Yeah. Now let's draw the top. We're gonna draw curves in the corner, just like we did down here. We'll draw a line across, and then another curve coming in and connecting. It should look kind of like a square with rounded corners. Good job. And it's okay that our squares look a little different. Yeah. We always say this because the most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Let's keep practicing. Yeah. Okay. Now let's draw our Lego person's eyes. I'm going to draw a circle and another circle. Two circles. This is where a lot of the details we could change on the on the face to make it look like a specific Lego person if we want. Let's also give him a smile or her smile. And I'm gonna color in the eyes. Now let's give our Lego person a neck. We're gonna draw two short lines that come down right below the eyes. And then we're gonna draw the top of the Lego person's shirt. Then we're gonna draw the side of the shirt and we're gonna draw two diagonal lines. We're gonna draw one that comes down over here on the left and also one that comes down over here on the right and see how they get further away towards the bottom. Yeah. Now let's draw the bottom of the shirt. We're gonna draw a line that comes across and connects. <laughs> All right, now let's draw the legs or the pants. We're gonna draw two lines that come down from each side of the shirt, and they're parallel. See how they, they don't get closer together or further away at the bottom. These lines on the shirt aren't parallel, but these ones are. Now we're gonna draw a line right here at the very top of the pants. It's really close to the bottom of the shirt. Then we're gonna do the same horizontal line. Horizontal line goes this way, vertical line goes up and down. We're gonna draw leave a little more space, and then we're gonna draw another line that goes across, horizontal. This is for the hinge to make his or her legs walk. Now we're gonna draw two lines coming right down the middle. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna come down, and right next to it, we're gonna draw another one coming down. And this length is the same as the outside lines. So these could come down a little further so that they match the outside, yeah. Then we're gonna connect the bottom two, and we're gonna leave a little space here, and then connect the other two. It's starting to look like a Lego person. So much squares. Yeah, so many squares and straight lines. Now let's draw their feet. We're gonna leave a little space, come up and draw another horizontal line, but we're not gonna go across. We're gonna leave a little space here in the middle because this is their legs, they're separate. We're gonna draw another one at the same height. All right, we did it. We drew our- Lego le person. Yeah, the, well, the legs. Yes. Now we need to draw the arms. <laughs> so let's come up here. We're gonna draw the shoulder first. We're gonna start at the top, come out of the shoulder, and then we're gonna curve down. And look how I get further away towards the bottom of the sleeve. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Draw a curve that comes out for the shoulder and then down. Now let's connect the sleeves at the bottom of the shirt. What's our Lego person missing? His hands. Yeah, hands outside of the sleeves coming out. We're gonna draw a circle right here, but at the bottom, let's see. I'm gonna draw two points like that first because at the very bottom, we're gonna leave a space. 
And then we're going to draw a circle. It comes around like that and connects the two dots together. Okay, now let's draw the outside of the hand. We're going to draw two diagonal, little diagonal lines coming out at the bottom. And we're going to start at the end of those diagonal lines and curve around and connect to the sleeve. And let's do the same thing down here. And I'm just going to connect it into his pants. Yeah, let's do the same thing over here on the right side. We're going to draw two dots for the gap, two guide dots. Then we're going to draw that circle. It comes around, connects the two dots together. Then we're going to draw the two diagonal lines coming out of the circle. And then we're going to draw and connect a curve from that diagonal line up to the sleeve. And then we, the other one could just go into his pants. We did it. Well, we need to add the top of yeah. his head <laughs> or her head. So we can add a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's draw two short lines coming out of the top. Yeah, and one more. And then we're going to connect the top of those with a horizontal line. Now you could leave that off and actually add hair, but I think it looks cool this way. Yeah. We still need to do one more thing to our drawing. Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, great job on coloring your Lego person. What colors do we use to color our drawings? Red. Blue and yellow. Yeah. What, what else are those colors called? Primary colors. Yeah. We use the basic colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now you guys can color your Lego people any way you want. You could also add extra details like hair and different clothes. You could turn this drawing into any person you want. Yeah. You could even make it look like yourself. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Lego person. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.